to press for you guys. All we need to get us started is a suggestion of a non-geographic location. The internet. That's pretty, like... Photo uh, studio! Great, uh, photo studio. Thank you. Thanks. Photo studio. <laughs> <laughs> Cereal. I would feel great about that. Yeah. <laughs> but you can't do that as an adult. 
Nah, no, you can't. It's something yeah. about cereal. An establishment like that would go out of business very quickly. Like, well, maybe not. Maybe not in Seattle. Right. Um, I feel like people are pretty open to like alternative sensibilities in Seattle. You might be able to go for an all cereal. It's because it's closer, closer to Canada. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It changes the way you think. Yeah. <laughs>
photograph. Look at the bathroom. 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 I'm crazy about the bathroom. It's not a good photograph. No, it's a great photograph. I'm just uh, not crazy about the bathroom. I just don't like it. It's like looking at me in a way that I right. don't keep me up at night. Right. Up at night or, not a bedroom <laughs> photograph. No, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> but even like a regular house photograph, I can't have a photograph of anything looking directly at me. Because when I go to sleep, early morning, like right at dawn, just when the sun is coming up, I wake up almost every morning like clockwork and I'm convinced there's people in the room looking right at me. And the sick thing is, I kind of feel like if I don't like look at them quickly, <laughs> they're going to come and get me. So I wake up every morning at like 5.30 in the morning, I look around at everything really, really quickly. I have to do like a pace around the house to make sure everything is really good. I can't put that in bed. Talk to your doctor. <laughs> yeah, apparently it's a pretty common thing. Uh, I got um I got one of a guy looking like looking away into the woods. You can't see his face, he's just looking into the woods. Some guy I saw he was looking into the woods, I took a photograph of him. Did you ask him? No. <laughs> <laughs> no one checks up on his stuff. You're supposed to ask him. But I just like if someone asked, I would just say that I asked him. I mean you don't tell the truth to me, but <laughs> Anybody ever punch you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you mean like photographs? <laughs> yeah, I don't mean just like oh, like in high school in real life. Oh, yeah. punch me, punch me in high school. I know that. Oh yeah. You, you, you slugged me a little. You give me a slug in high school. We're actually got to a tussle. Yeah. Really a tussle. Well, yeah. I was not a good guy. No, you were a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was the victim, and then, you know, I realized I'm, I'm a bad guy. Yeah. You're just like projecting all your shit onto everybody. So What's like, that phrase, if it smells like shit, look under your shoe? It always smells like shit. You stepped in shit. What's the phrase? <laughs> you, you shit yourself? <laughs> I'm not going to get further away. I've never heard that phrase. That's a great phrase. It yeah. smells like shit. All the time, you probably smell. You, if it smells, if it smells like shit, it's like your shit. No. No. It smells like shit. It smells like check your shoe. Check your shoe. Well, you know, the gist of this phrase is perfect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of like the if you look around the table and you can't see the sucker. You're the sucker. You're the sucker. That's the nail. Yeah. Good to connect, man. I'm in touch with a lot of people. Yeah, this has been last week. Yeah. Facebook, man. Yeah. I'm just like, <laughs> what? Yeah. You're in Seattle? Yeah. Boom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. I've been running some ads on Facebook for the studio. They're not working. No? You paying for those? Yeah. I don't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's such a waste, though, because like the more ads I'm inundated with online, the less I acknowledge any of them. Yeah. I just like totally spring everything out. So you're just like, Paying top dollar for me to spring something out. I paid twelve dollars to get a thousand from Bangladesh to like my page. <laughs> no, so you can you know you can kind of advertise and then it charges it per click and the cost varies based on where it is and how valuable the clicks are. And I guess there's just people like in Bangladesh and India and China who just uh, I don't know, I guess they sit and click all day. <laughs> I don't know how it works, but it's true. And just if you try to get people from the United States, that costs like a dollar, but like a dollar a like. But Bangladesh it's like tenth of a cent. So it's in like twelve bucks, got a thousand likes. So it looks like a lot of people like the student, then you click on it, it's all like people from Bangladesh. <laughs> it's so fucking sad for every possible reason I know, man. <laughs> lot, like big companies will do it. You can't see anymore. You see, you can go like to the Coca-Cola page and click like, who likes this, and just read all the names. It's like every one of these people is from Bangladesh, <laughs> <laughs> or like, like, like Indonesia is another big one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like, man, people in Indonesia love Coca-Cola. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just do. I don't know. Yeah, I've never yeah. been there. <laughs> I should go to Canada, man. I live in Seattle. How have I ever been to Canada? <laughs> Is that an invite? And you should check with Vicky before. Yeah, no, it's, it's an invite. Alright. It's like, that's a lot. I mean, when you guys are hiking, that's a lot. 
No, come, it'll be fine. No. You know, yeah. I mean, couples retreat would be great. I should check in. Yeah, definitely. I'll check with Vicky too. Yeah. I'm sure she'll be cool with it. Like, I got definitely. Pretty cool. What better way to reconnect than like a couple's height? Right, yeah. I just, I'm worried that Vicky doesn't really like me much. Yeah. I don't think Vicky likes me that much. Either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got through like, you know, like that phase of the relationship, you know what I mean? I think now we're at the, the caretaker phase, prematurely. I think we're basically like, what, just we're like, like really old and dying. We're not like the caretaker phase. No, not <laughs> it's like on death's door. And we're it's not like no, feeding each other. Yeah. We're not at like the doddering part of the phase yet, but we're definitely at like most of our relationship is just like ensuring the physical safety of the other one now. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Like, like dates? Do you need to? Oh, oh, we don't date. Okay. Watch it on Apple TV. <laughs> <laughs> now let's see if they're doing something out for it. Why does it sound dangerous? Oh, okay. Yeah. Just go. Well, I'm saying, like, like, what situations where you have to ensure the physical safety of your? Well, just like my diet, for example. Right. <laughs> Drinking caffeine anymore. The real killers. Yeah. The slow killers. Yeah. I haven't had a cigarette in any months. I'm not drinking yeah. beer anymore. I'm not eating red meat anymore. I quit coffee. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I didn't, but. I quit it for a period. <laughs> right back into it. So like you like stop drinking the cup and then yeah yeah. It doesn't really care to quit. It's just not drinking coffee at the moment. I quit for a lot of Well hey that sounds good. Nice. Yeah, every small step counts. I'm in AA. Good time. What? I'm in AA. <laughs> Alcoholics Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You're a sponsor and everything. You got a ship? Huh? It's like a god thing, right? <laughs> I, yeah, I talk about it. You don't really have to believe it. Huh? Yeah, is that is that do you not believe or is that just something they say so they don't scare you off? Or, and they're like six months in they're like, no, you need to believe it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just like Scientology. Like, don't worry about all that alien stuff you saw. Just hang out here at the big weird church. <laughs> and it's like, here's your alien folder. <laughs> I joined Scientology for a little bit. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> I've been really just trying to find something. How, so you like it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't think that it's a liking it or not liking it thing. It works. It helps. Yeah. So I accept someone to talk to periodically about it. It's tough. I thought, like, cigarettes, I quit cold turkey and there's no problem. I'm surprised by that. Even the booze I thought was going to be nothing at all. Man, it's killing me. You know why? It's alcohol. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> After you go through that year and a half period where you're just, like, swallowing a glass of it all the time, that is fucking great. I love alcohol. <laughs> Makes me feel not sad. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. It's true! <laughs> <laughs> if I get a couple of beers, I don't feel very sad. For yeah. a short window. Oh, yeah, two beers is great, but then you get to three beers. Oh, is that sad? I feel different. Yeah, yeah. There's that short window, and I always overshoot it. <laughs> I'm really sad. And I take awful photographs. <laughs> I get so many bad photographs. I don't know, these are really good. Yeah, these are this is the, just the, you're seeing the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, but that's what you're supposed to do in a gallery. You're not supposed to put up everything in the photograph. See, I wish I'd done that at first. <laughs> it took me a couple months to figure that out. But it made the good ones stand out. There was a lot of bad ones. When I get drunk, I just turn around and start shooting my face. <laughs> it's not just you, that's everybody. Yeah, but I'm not even talking selfies. In fact, it's really close pictures of my face. <laughs> like seal up my nose and blur my eye. <laughs> that's still a selfie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> kind, of, kind of a social comment, right? Yeah, it's like a social. All right, you know what? You know what? <laughs> Change my mind. <laughs> huh? Yeah? 
That's your nose, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, baboon, you're gone. <laughs> but don't let me talk you out of baboons. Cool baboon. Oh, he's yeah, he's freaking out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how that does. Everything else is so like tastefully composed, and that one just kind of looks like a, like an action photograph. <laughs> but my face.
know when you like a thing and you choose to do it and then you, someone makes you do it? That's everything about marriage. <laughs> you like hanging out, you like having sex, you know, you like uh, being together, and you go to that wedding, and now by decree of the state <laughs> and God herself, <laughs> you have to do all these things. <laughs> takes all the joy out of them. <laughs> joy. <laughs> it's just like, like a week after the wedding, you can just feel every ounce of effort slide out of both of your bodies. <laughs> You're telling the ghost of trying. It just leaves you. It's just, it's just, these, just these shells. <laughs> and you don't know it for a year, you're just kind of lying about it. And then you talk about it and you think like, oh, we'll talk about it. That makes us feel better, right? No, it makes you feel worse. Because you feel like, oh, we'll just get it out in the open. And then you realize, oh, this is what the rest of our life is. It's just being miserable next to each other, having to fuck each other once a month. So it's not too sad. <laughs> I will not fake an orgasm. I will make him do this shitty thrusting until I come. And I, and it, it takes two and a half hours, and it is not fun, it is miserable. And I, ref I refuse to lie about my body. He doesn't get, no one gets to make me do that. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of music do you like? <laughs> of small towns. <laughs> each, each episode is a different small town, and they'll just read the obituaries. <laughs> and they'll do little voices. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. You guys should come camping. Come camping with us. Come camping with us. <laughs>
this is what I've learned from the obituary podcast. No one really dies in the That's a myth. He's pretty properly dispelled. There's a lot of hacking and coughing. Most people die of natural causes. If you were to go into their room when they where they died, there'd be blood all over them. You start hacking, coughing up blood. Your body gives out. You just you shit and vomit blood, and you're dead. That's natural causes. When it dies, your body just turns off. That's a lie. That's a liberal myth. <laughs> I want you to think the world is this warm, fuzzy place where, oh, Grandpa and Grandpa, they just died naturally and floated up to a farm in heaven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, choked out of the night. It's a real thing that can happen. He does a lot of research. He'll research the obituaries. He really just, we gotta stop. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Or just, am I bothering you? <laughs> going to dinner, I'm sorry. We're going to eat. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I'm sorry. But that's the one we live in, so I'm not that sorry. We're just opening up reality a little bit, right? You'll be tougher because of it. Dinner will be harder, but you'll, you'll be stronger tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.